Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're talking hitting mechanics and I want to talk about stops and don'ts, okay? Two words that you hear a lot when it comes to hitting, whether it's coach to player or player to player or maybe dad to player. And it typically revolves around the barrel or the hands, right? Something up here. And it usually goes like this. Hey man, stop casting your hands, right? Hey, don't cast your hands. Hey, stay inside the ball. Don't get around the ball. Hey, stop dropping your barrel, right? So you hear all these things that typically revolve around the barrel. Hey, stop dropping your hands. Don't do this, right? And so it's the barrel and the hands that are talked about a lot. And there's no doubt, I mean, ultimately we're trying to get this barrel, right? It's really, a path is important. We're trying to get this barrel turned up into the bar, right? To be able to get in, in the zone for a long time. And we've talked about that a bunch. So it is really, really important. But for me, the body controls what this is gonna do. And no matter how many times we say as a coach or as a dad or as just a friend helping another friend, hey, stop doing this. Hey, don't do that. It's if it's just talking about, hey, don't drop the barrel, well, I try to not to drop the barrel as much as I can, and it's gonna drop. If I say, hey, stop casting your hands, don't cast your hands, right? Well, I try as much as I can to not cast my hands, and I end up still casting them, right? So it's not as easy as don'ts and stops. We've gotta talk about the body. The body controls what happens to this. It's the same thing if you go to a doctor, right? You go to a doctor, you've got a really bad cough, <coughs> right? I can't stop coughing. I go in, hey, what, you know, what, what's going on? What brings you in here today? Ah, oh, doc, man, I can't, I, I, I just keep coughing. I, 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 I just been coughing all day, right? I, don't cough. No, I, I know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm coughing. I'm, I'm trying not to cough. Yeah, stop coughing. What? I understand that. I know I'm trying to stop coughing. Stop coughing, man. You're not listening to me? <laughs> like, that's what it feels like, right? Doc, I don't think you're getting it. Like, I, I'm trying. It's I'm trying right now. So, get out of the cage. Next guy. The guy's uncoachable. Doesn't want to stop coughing, right? That's like, that literally is what happens to players. That happened throughout my career. That happened to me a lot. I'm trying to do something, right? Stop, stop casting your hands. I'm trying to stop casting my hands. I can't stop casting my hands. Oh, he's uncoachable, doesn't want to listen. He won't stop casting his hands. I told him to stop casting his hands. He doesn't want to listen, right? So it's, it's, it's not that. For me, again, it's the body. And it's not because of a lack of effort. Oftentimes it's just, I don't know what to do. Something is going on in here that's causing the barrel to do something that I don't want it to do. It's not allowing me to quickly turn the barrel up into the ball, okay? and so. I talk about core principles, right? If you've seen our videos, you've seen us talk about a bunch of things, right? So whether it's loading the back leg properly, right? It's, if you don't get your back leg loaded properly and you, you just shift forward and you get forward, well, that's gonna cause the barrel to do certain things. It's gonna cause the barrel to go, typically, get pushed out front, be down through the ball more. And gonna, you're not gonna be able to turn it up into the ball. And so if you're swinging down through the ball, you never get your barrel turned up into the ball, just telling me to get the barrel turned up into the ball probably isn't gonna help me, right? I've gotta work on, maybe it's working on coiling more and not shifting forward so much more, right? Maybe I'm just rotating and I'm not tilting getting behind the ball enough, okay? Maybe it, it could be, it's so many, it could be so many things, but those core principles, the body is gonna control again the barrel, okay? So if, if I'm not pulling back and I'm, I'm just getting here, right? And I'm, my elbow's getting out front, right? I'm not pulling back and I'm losing the barrel. Well, just telling me to stop losing the barrel is not gonna help me. So you gotta go back again to those core things. Maybe I've gotta pull back more, right? I've gotta pull back longer. So whatever it is, there's a bunch of things, but again, it all comes back to the body, not just the barrel and not just stops and don'ts. Okay, and I know that can be really frustrating for, for hitters. It was really frustrating again for me as a hitter. When I'm getting told stop and don't all these things and I'm trying to stop and I don't wanna do it, but I just keep doing it. And I don't know what to do, okay? So the important thing is dig a little bit deeper, look at the body. And it's one of the reasons why, again, when I was playing, it's one of the reasons why I got really interested in, in, in hitting and why I got interested in coaching even more, because I felt like you could have a real impact. If you really start to understand how the body works, 
you can really help players, right? Instead of just giving these easy things, again, we talked in the past, we will keep it simple, stupid, right? It's not always that easy. There's something going on that's causing the flaw to happen. And so we've got to be able to dig deeper and understand the swing. And as players, you've got to understand the swing, understand your swing. What do you do that causes you to swing the bat well? And when your swing gets out of whack, what's going on in your body? All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you haven't seen our other videos, go back and start checking out our other videos because we talk a lot about these core principles. And those, again, are the things that are going to help control this right here and get this to do what you want it to do, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. I just want to talk a little bit about that because I hear it so much, stops and don'ts, and you just hear it at every game you go to, every practice you go to. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, all that good stuff, share with your friends. And that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.